Hello, my name is Martin Norton, and I'd like to speak to you this evening about one of my favorite pastimes, reading. Growing up, reading was something that I did not enjoy very much. There were many other things I would rather have been doing throughout the day. I hated reading Simon so much that I often wouldn't even read the cliff notes. Obviously, this did not bode well for my school grades. As I grew older, I found myself constantly reading news articles and computer-related articles online. I think it was my familiarity with computers that allowed me to feel comfortable reading internet-based news. I kept myself constantly informed on various topics, including current events. There was a very significant pattern to my day. I would wake up, go on the computer, read online newspapers for about an hour, and then get ready for work. I would then find myself reading the current day's news articles online during my lunch breaks. I would end the day the same way as I started it getting caught up on the news before going to bed. A couple of years ago, I started working in New York City, which required a one-hour commute by train each way. I stopped at one of the magazine stands at New York Penn Station to pick up the latest Macworld magazine. While browsing the racks, I came across a book cover that caught my eye. The book cover was a picture of Stonehenge with a fiery background and a Celtic symbol on the bottom. The title of the book was The Doomsday Key by author James Rollins. I read the brief summary located in the front cover and decided to give it a try. It was at this precise moment that my life would take a complete 180. The thing I hated the most as a child would now be my first choice for passing the time. After completing the Doomsday Key, I was truly surprised how much of an enjoyable experience it was. James Rollins presents a style of writing I had never experienced before. Mr. Rollins puts a good amount of time researching facts for his novels. Each novel consists of a mixture of both fact and fiction. At the conclusion of each book, he informs his readers which historical and scientific events were and weren't factual. You can see an example of that on page 427 in the section of author's notes to readers. Truth or fiction, book in Doomsday Cake. He also directs his readers to additional reading materials for topics that were factual. At this point, I have read most of James Rollins' written books. My favorite is the incredible series called The Sigma Force. The Sigma Force is a fictional division of the factual DARPA. DARPA is the acronym for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It is an actual agency of the United States Department of Defense responsible for the development of new technology for use by the military. I plan to continue reading as it seems to relax me very much. I also find that the more I read, the more I'm willing to read topics I have little interest in. It's fortunate I was able to discover reading as a hobby despite my early dislike of it. Thank you.